you know how people when they're doing interviews yeah they're not looking at the camera they're kind of looking off at like maybe somebody off over here with well, the cameras over here but they're looking over here like somebody is asking them questions right should we do it that way or should we look right in the camera uh should we do it like somebody's actually sitting over here asking the questions? I, I say just look into the camera. <laughs> like, that's a good question. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, that's good, uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked that. All right. I think, I think that's going to be a good shot. Can you see you if you're sitting here? Oh, yeah. It's got the fisheye lens thing. Are we rolling? Oh, let's roll. It's kind of. We're, we're done. We're done. We don't know what we're doing. We, don't know we're what we're doing. we have no idea what we're doing. We're new. We just, uh, we've, we've been down in the shop working and we've had a couple people come in that said, you know, y'all need to start filming this crap that y'all are doing down here. Well, a couple weeks ago, there was a guy came in. He, he hung around for a couple hours and he just kept saying, man, y'all, y'all need to start filming this. Y'all need to start filming this. Y'all need to start filming this. And we didn't really think anything about it. But then, we kind of got to talking. We follow a bunch of other YouTube channels where guys work in shops, and it's it's entertaining. So we figured we would, uh, I guess, start filming the stupid crap we do down here. You know, a lot of that. <laughs> a lot of it. So that's kind of why why we're doing this and how it got started. Uh, I know you. The one video that we've put out has been of the van. We did the, the four wheel drive conversion on the van here, and that that's really. Getting a lot of views and getting a lot of stuff on Facebook, people talking about it. So uh, I guess we figured we would kind of explain what we're doing and how we got to where we are. Uh, for those that don't know, my name's Justin. I'm Justin Williams. This is my son, Seth Williams. This is my daughter's boyfriend, Ivan uh, Yarber. Uh, I've been here, did you? We, uh, I almost forgot. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I, I've I've been I've had this shop for about 17 years and grew up uh, working on stuff my whole life. My dad used to race back in the 70s, four wheel drive jeeps and stuff, and always did it. And then I got when I got old enough to work on them and started learning, uh, I just just started just started learning working on stuff. And then we got to racing uh, probably. Back in the late 80s, early 90s, after Daddy had been out of racing for a while, the uh, local track here had started making a, uh, well, no, I'll take that back. We, we, bought, we all bought Jeeps in the family. That's what happened. Yeah. Everybody in the family bought Jeeps. Yeah, had a whole Jeep club. Yeah, we started trail riding again, and then uh, one of our friends had, a little, had some property up in the country, so he fixed a drag strip for us on the weekends, and we just... We would go up there with our Jeeps and just play around on the weekends uh, drag races. Well, then, of course, that always snowballs into something else. We decided to go to a actual mud race up in Virginia, I believe it was. And, of course, we all got these big ideas. Well, we got we to gotta build a mud race. So we built a Jeep. It was me, my daddy, and my uncle. We built a Jeep and started mud racing that Jeep. And, uh, of course, that escalated. And we finally we built a rail. So we had a rail dragster that we mud raced, and we did that for guy Seth was he was he was real little. Yeah. He may not, he might I don't even, he may not even been born when we first started. I know when I came home from a race one time, your mama got mad because <laughs> I walked in the door from a race we had been racing, <laughs> oh, yeah. and you took your first steps walking towards me. She's been trying to get you to walk all week. Yeah. And you took your first steps towards me when I walked in the door. She's still a little soft uh, about that. Mm, yeah. But any, anyway, we we raced that. Uh, I don't know, we did five or six years, went all over the country and did that, and then that, that kind of, it died out and got old. So we uh, we parked it right here in the shop. It sat right here, that rail sat right here in the shop for probably three years, and then I started working on Jeeps. Uh, that, that was my thing, I worked on Jeeps, uh, did Chevrolet conversions on Jeeps, that was the big deal, the thing I did, and I kind of got, everybody just kind of started calling me the Jeep man, I don't know why, but. <laughs> they did. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, that's weird. But anyway, that's how that got started. But the rail sit here for like two years, and then the local track here in town, uh, local uh, fire department here in town, Williamsburg Fire Department, they decided that uh, started having a hill and hole mud racing, uh, just to raise money for the fire department. So we had never done hill and hole racing, 
in a, I had a little Jeep Commando that I had built that I rode on the street. It was a 70, 70 Jeep Commando, a little half cab that I'd put a small block Chevrolet in. And when they had the first race, we went down there and I entered it in the street class and ended up, we won. Matter of fact, I think I went further than everything that day. Oh, I think I even yeah. went further than the mile five trips. I just got lucky, but anyway. Uh, we came back from that and we decided, okay, we'll, we'll build a we'll, we'll build a mud racer. So I told Daddy, I said, we got all these commandos behind the shops and wagoneers. I said, I'm gonna take a wagoneer chassis and put one of these commando bodies on it and we'll build a motor and we'll we'll race that to this year and then over the winter we'll 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 start from scratch and build another vehicle. So I did that, and we were scrounging around trying to figure out where are we going to get a motor? What are we going to do? We don't have the money to build a motor. And I was down here in the shop working one day. Daddy was, at, he was in the used car business at that time. And Daddy was at the lot. And I kept walking around by the mud rail, kept walking by. We were trying to figure out. And I, I looked, and it hit me. I called Daddy. I said, damn, Dad. I said, we're dumbasses. I said, we've got a motor sitting right here that's ready to go. He said, what are you talking about? He, I said, we've got the rail. We can take the motor out of round bone and put it in this mud truck. He said, well, that thing, it's alcohol injected, and enderly injection. You ain't never going to be able to run that. And I, and I said, well, I looked at the rules. It doesn't say anything in the rules that we can't run alcohol or can't run injection. And he said, well, hell, pull it out and put it in there. So I did. We put that in there, went down to my buddy's and got a uh, nine-inch Ford out of one of his Broncos, bone stock. I put a turbo 400 in it, adapted a Jeep. Model 20 transfer case to it, and we got that 28 spline, nine inch Ford. Put it in there, went to the track, and I mean, it, it that was, it was a, we had a bad motor. It was a real deal race motor. I, could, I don't even know if you remember that. You, mm -hmm. you were little. Yeah, I was, I was just, I, I pulled to the starting line on that thing, and I hit it, and it left the line like a rocket, it probably went 30 feet, and it sounded like a hand grenade went off. <laughs> it, it exploded the rear end. You could have. There's no way you could have put a hand grenade in that rear end housing and done more damage. Than right. It. So we took the housing out. Got a uh, called Mosier. Got 35 fine Mosier axles, a spool, and built the rear end. Did that and uh, went to the next race. Uh, won that race. I think made it one of the first couple races we went to with it. Broke, was breaking some transfer cases and stuff because we was running all stock stuff and finally ended up getting some upgraded stuff. But anyway, that commando did so good we didn't build anything else. We just kept running that thing. So I ran it for... You ran it for a while. Five or six years, I don't know. And it was just literally, with just junk we threw together. We had a we had a nasty motor with a bunch of junk around it. Yeah. But we did good with it. But anyway, that's kind of my background as far as... Uh, how I got it, how we got into the shop and stuff, and we just always have worked on stuff. And then uh, with this filming stuff, we, we call it we call it the swim shop, the four wheel drive van conversions. And I think I made another video explaining yeah, why, it's the, why it's the swim shop, and you'll see that. But uh, what we want to do is four wheel drive van conversions. Cause Seth, he was a. Uh, it's probably been three years ago now. Yeah. He kept telling me when he was growing up, he's a he's a hippie. <laughs> he should have come up in the seventies. You're kidding. You're yeah, kidding. yeah. Well, you can't say nothing. You are too. Yeah. But uh, no, I can't say nothing. He's always said he wanted <laughs> no, a van. Man. He wanted a van, and I just called, I thought he was stupid. I said, you know, why would you want a van? That's dumb. Well, he ended up finding an old conversion van. I think it was on Marketplace, wasn't it? Yeah, Marketplace yeah. in China Grove. For yeah, it's about. I think the guy wanted five hundred dollars yeah. for it. So we went down there and looked at it, and it was a high 86 high top conversion van. It was sitting in the guy's front yard, literally on wooden blocks, and the transmission was hanging down under. He had started working on it because the transmission went out. And he got <laughs> so it, it looked literally beautiful. It was, it was, awesome. it was, it was awesome. Yeah. awesome. It was awesome. Awesome. But it, and I was like, this is it. It was <laughs> hanging <laughs> there, and uh, we finally got the truck in there and got it winched up on it. Anyway, we didn't pay $400 for it. Yeah, we talk, well, it, once we discovered all the Christmas decorations that we had to take out, that, he said, I just counted. Did you yeah. reuse those? No, nope, threw them right in oh, the yard. He got, <laughs> he got to keep those. He got to keep those. Yeah, he, well, I let him keep his Santa Claus. Stuff. But we, we got it. We got it uh, loaded up, brought it home. Uh, had it actually... Uh, 
in there. We've got a little building out here that we got a bunch of parts in. And there was a turbo 350 transmission in there that I told Seth, I said, I don't remember where this transmission came from, but the fluid's good and red in it. It ought to be good. Be so we put it in there, got it running, and it did. It ran out the top. And he drove it. You drove it around for? I drove it for probably four months like that. Just, yeah, he just camped in it some and done stuff, some stuff. And we threw together in it. But as he was driving it and got to messing with it, I was like, man, this, this, uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I, I kind of like this band. When Dad starts getting jealous, that's that's when I know yeah, something's going to start changing. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. Nah, you can jealous. <laughs> but uh, I, kinda, I, I think I told you one day, I said, well, let's, let's make this thing four-wheel drive. Yeah, and I thought you were crazy. Yeah, so we got it down here in the shop, and uh, I think it was something on the lift when we started working on it. Mm -hmm. Didn't have any idea how to make a van four-wheel drive. Uh, I think we did put it up on the lift. When we did put it up on the lift, that's when I learned that these vans are unibody. They don't have a frame under them. I had no idea. But when we decided to make it four-wheel drive, we had it sitting over there on the floor. And said, you came down here and took the whole front. Uh, I dropped the whole front end. There, the full front subframe, everything. I mean, just out of it, the, dropped it uh, right here on the ground. And then when we started dropping it out, we never worked on vans. The engine started coming, hanging down too. And then we realized, and we, we got to strap this engine up. So we strapped the motor up, pulled all that out. I just kind of got measurements in my head uh, of a square body Chevrolet truck four wheel drive, and we just put the stuff under it like it was a square body four wheel drive Chevrolet. And we got it. Uh, we got it done. We get. We made it four wheel drive. Uh, the first time we test drove it, we pulled it out of the shop. We went up here and went on our little test run. And I told Seth, I said we screwed up. He said, What do you mean? I said we done something wrong. He said, Why? I said because it drives perfect. It yeah. drives perfect. Everything is perfect, and it was. Oh, it, you it could go to fifty five, let go of the wheel, and I mean it just tracked dead straight. Yeah. I, was, I, I don't see how we. How and it we wasn't. Did it was not because we knew what we were doing. We just got lucky. But we did that, it was probably, we didn't even have it a week. Mm -hmm. And you had the event in Sarasota, Florida. Yes. You were set up to sell some of his artwork in Sarasota. And uh, I told the family, I said, we're going to drive this van. <laughs> and we had probably, we had put probably 70 miles. Oh, no, dude, we bought, it had a set of, uh, it had a set of 33 inch tall tires on it that were, I mean, halfway dry rotted and flat uh -huh. spots in it. And the day before, we found another set of wheels and tires, a set of 35s on uh, 15 by 10s, and we slapped them things on there, and we drove it eight hours. No, it was more than eight, eight, 10 hours. It was yeah, more yeah. like 11 hours. Yeah, well, eight hours on the GPS when you've got a van with a 305 and 35-inch tall tires and going over 60 miles an hour, it makes it 11 hours. Yeah. But... Mm. But we did. We, we took it down there. It did perfect. No problems whatsoever. Couldn't Matter of fact, on the better. way back, when we got out of South Carolina on the way back, I turned to Seth. I said, we're, we're in good shape. He said, what do you mean? I said, I think it's going to hold together. <laughs> I said, because if you can take a vehicle on I-95 in South Carolina in the white right lane at 80 miles an hour and it survives, <laughs> yeah. it'll, it'll survive anything because that's the roughest stretch of road, I believe, in the country. But anyway, we, we drove that thing around. Uh, Seth had finally, he decided that he wanted him a boogie van. So we found him an old Bell South van in the, yeah. in the field. Yeah, pulled it out of the guy's yard. It was yard. in the field. The heads were off the motor. Uh, V6 in it. I think we paid $400 for it. Yeah. And he took that and started building that for his boogie van. So I took the uh, conversion van and we turned it into a camper van and we camped in it for a while. And uh, people kept wanting it and, you know, asking if we would sell it. And finally, a guy here in town wanted it. I sold it to him, and he ended up selling it to a guy in France. Yeah. So it's in France now, which that guy has since then contacted me, wanting to know what all had been done to it. He told me this has been three weeks ago. He's getting ready to put it on a shipping container, bring it back to the United States, and him and his wife are going to travel to the United States. In it. So that's how we got into vans. And since then, we've built... I don't know. Three, uh, three more. We built uh, four more. Four more, yeah. Four more. It was a. Uh, um, we built a G30 church van for him. It was uh, also a one-ton van with some military running gear. Uh, built another G20 low-top uh, half-ton yeah. van, and 
so they get built, yeah, built this and built, and built another one. Anyway, that's how we got into vans. And uh, we just decided that we want to start doing four-wheel drive conversions on vans because nobody's doing any conversions on these old vans. Uh, and we're probably messed up in the head for doing it. Anyway. There's probably a reason <laughs> nobody's doing it. But uh, no, well, no, we're fine. Uh, and they're, Ivan, they're ugly. We'll, they're tell ugly. You, we'll tell you how Ivan come into the picture. <laughs> Ivan is my daughter's uh, boyfriend. He, uh, they've been, they've been together a little over a year now, I believe. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, he uh, he came into our lives kind of just on a whim and like an asteroid. Yeah. Like an asteroid just come in and <laughs> tore left off. the crane. Yeah. <laughs> Him yeah. and uh, Olivia are uh, they're pretty tight now. But uh, he decided to move away from home. He was he was working for a tree company in home in Glade Springs, Virginia. And uh, him and him and Olivia just decided that he, he was going to move down here. And he was talking about getting a job, looking for a job. And I told Olivia, I said, you know, I know he's welded before and done some fabricating. Ask him if he would be interested in me and him and Seth just working in the shop. And he, he did. So oh, I jumped on it quicker than white on rice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how Ivan came into the picture. So it's it's all three of us. We've decided to start doing the four wheel drive van conversions, um, and we've decided to start filming everything and making videos on our YouTube channel just on what people have said we ought to do. So we don't know where to go. We don't know how to go. Um, people yeah. may like it. People may not like it. We don't know. We're driving blind right now. <laughs> it's like my daddy used to say: you don't know how you look till you get your picture took. So. We're going to see how it goes. But we've also got, uh, in those videos, you're going to see us working on other stuff right now in the time being than vans because we've got uh, several other jobs that have been committed to that we've got to finish up before we move completely away from that stuff. We're doing a uh, pretty much a restoration or at least a rat rod kind of restoration on a 63 Chevrolet pickup. We've got a Jeep truck that we're doing for a girl that we just pulled the motor out of it, uh, AMC 401. We're getting ready to tear it down and rebuild it and put it in for a girl. Uh, we've got a Wrangler that we've got to do an engine swap on. And I've, I've got a buddy of mine, Tim Briggs, in uh, Burlington that's just one of the best people in the world. Yeah. Wouldn't be nowhere where I am today without him. But he's got a lot of AMC and Jeep stuff that we keep running for him. So you'll be seeing a lot of that stuff in between uh, the four-wheel drive van conversions. But we, we hope to move 100% on four-wheel drive van conversions. Uh, you'll see a lot of us work, a lot of them working on them for ourselves. Uh, we'll be taking in customers if they want them to, want us to do them for them. We're working on a, uh, a 67 Chevrolet, a GT and van right now that we, we've never done one of those before. The guy that uh, wanted us to do it, uh, I told him that we don't do these. <laughs> we would be happy to do it if you know if you want to give us a shot. But we're it's going to have to be a guinea pig. We're, there's going to be a lot of trial and error because we don't know anything at all. And he was fine with that. I don't know that we'll do another one when we finish this one. But uh, you'll be seeing some of that one in there. But that that's kind of how. Yeah, this but, is gonna go. Or we don't know how it'll go or what'll happen. But, mm -mm. You know, you're probably gonna see uh, some stupid stuff. Yeah. Uh, you'll probably see us get mad. Mm -hmm. you might hear <laughs> some bleeps and stuff from cussing because. Bob, I guess. I mean, I, it's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's good it's stuff. real life. I don't know if it's good stuff. But you're not gonna see this. Yeah, on yeah, real life. It's good stuff. Uh, yeah, I guarantee you, you won't see what happens here on cable TV. Yeah, this but, in uh, gas monkey garage or nothing. Yeah, it's uh, it's. Uh, and, and we're just uh, yeah. that's annoying. If that you don't, a lot. well, cut that. If, <laughs> if I will ever go on and break down and buy my extended warranty, my death benefit insurance, oh, yeah. my and your, uh, um, health care, part A and B, if I go on and buy that stuff, that these calls will quit coming. <laughs> but uh, good, good people. Oh, it just uh, goals of the shop. No, yeah. I had something I was going to say. It was important. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm not in your head. What was important? All of it, apparently. It was telling them about um, seeing other stuff in the shop and how it was going to be yeah. rotating. Stuff oh, out. oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of the stuff you'll see, people that actually know what they're doing will probably look at it and say, they're idiots. 
They, you should never do that. And they're probably right. But I, I tell people we're not, we can halfway fabricate. So far we've been lucky in the stuff we've done works. But uh, I, I like to tell people we're nothing special. We're just some rednecks that kind of got a hold of a welder that halfway learned how to use it and probably was a big mistake that that happened. Yeah. But uh, Really? Well, the, you remember the drive shaft that we extended two and a half inches? Yeah, but we, uh, you know? we was on a deadline. You know, yeah, we we, we had to do some sort of ingenuity. But I'm saying, you're going to see stuff that shouldn't be done, and we'll probably tell you don't. Yeah. Do yeah. It. But you're also going to see stuff. Uh, I hope it'll help some people, too, that uh, that think they can't do it or feel yeah. like they can't. because we, we don't limited. have the right things yeah. to do it, and it's like, well, we... You know, you can also use this yeah, out of the trash we, can. We will, <laughs> let, you know, we will literally dig something out of a pile, and if it looks like it might work, we'll beat it and bang it and shape it and throw it on our. We, we wouldn't. We won't do that on a customer. Resourceful ingenuity. But yeah. our stuff, there's no telling what you might see us do on our stuff. But, uh, if you do, just just laugh. Yeah. Just, Don't want to cry. Get mad. I, don't, I mean, we know how to do the wrong thing right. We know how to do the wrong thing right. <laughs> and just because we do it, you might not want to do it, but it works for us. And uh, yeah, the, it, it, what the stuff that we do, if this was, if this shop was a cigarette pack, it would be a Surgeon General warning on the stuff. Yeah, yeah, telling you not to do it. A big anyway, circle with a line through it. That's uh, that's that's what we plan on doing. If uh, you know, maybe I'll buy this insurance now. You know, those things have a vibration setting where they won't ring. Yeah. Or, or, or a different ringtone. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. I know that in my heart. Do, do, do. I hate it. <laughs> I hate I'm it. not changing. Of course you yeah. But anyway, getting back to the serious stuff. That, that's where we plan on going. Um, you know, we just started this uh, YouTube channel. It's the Swim Shop 4x4 Van Conversions. Uh, we've got a YouTube page. We've got an Instagram. Yeah. We've got a Facebook page. We've got an email. We're working on a website. We, we've got a website, but we're working on getting it. Uh, built up so I guess we got to start saying uh, hit the like and subscribe button oh man everybody I else said it in my life so, say it yeah say, say it you mean say it yeah, yeah go, say ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead say it. go ahead and smash that like and subscribe appreciate that <laughs> appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that's good. Yeah, I might have to just clip that out and just yeah. at, at, at the end of every video have that if you don't <laughs> I'm gonna come to the phone well, right, right now I need to cut this no, 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 no. This is good no, stuff. No, no. This is good okay. stuff. Okay. It'd be like, uh, you remember when uh, Uncle Leo on Seinfeld when he was on? Oh, yeah. No, stop the camera! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the block? Yeah. How? Is that even a thing? I have no idea. Are you kidding? I, it, I don't care. You can pull the damn motor out. You can run it. I have stood them out there. I put them out there. Ran them. With the damn hoses off, get all the water out of it. You pull it out of the vehicle, and I swear to God, 15 gallons of water hit the ground. Every time. How do you even? I don't know. How do you even? I don't know. Engineering stuff we don't Get that in there. I can't even pee that much in a year. I can't even pee that much in a year. <laughs> I can't. In a year?